So this is strings it. Um, so in this challenge, the description says, can you find flag in file without running it? Okay, so, all right. So here it says, can you find the flag in file without running it? And we have a hint over here. We'll use the hint if we need to, but for now, let's go back to the PicoCTF web shell and let's set up our challenge environment. So first we want to go to our home directory and then we want to create a file over here called stringsit. So make dir stringsit and then we enter that directory with the cd command and now we're ready to download the file. So if we do pwd to see the working directory, uh, we are in the stringsit directory. Let's go over to copy the file over here, copy link address, and then go over to the web shell and then use the wget command to download the file. So after the file is downloaded, we see that we have a file inside of our directory. Now let's use the strings command on it. So in this case, it is string strings. And we have a, we have a lot of output over here actually. So what we want to do is we want to strings it, straight use the strings command in, conjun in conjunction with the pipe and we're, we're going to use grep to try to get out the flag, which is uh, the flag prefix is always going to be picoctf, just like this. Let's grep out the flag and the flag is right here. So we use the grep command to, to, um, to extract the extract the line with the criteria in it and in which case we got the flag just like this okay so now that we have this we can submit it as uh, as the flag for this particular challenge and complete it okay so paste in the flag value and then click on submit flag okay so strings it let's click back into the challenge and upvote the challenge to show appreciation for the challenge makers. All right, and that is done. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.